So it is 10 o'clock and I got home and I was pretty hungry so I was deciding on what I wanted to eat. And the first thing that came to mind was grilled cheese because it's one of my most favorite foods in the whole world. I know my kitchen looks like a mess because it is because I was trying to figure out the most amazing, amazing best grilled cheese in the world because I didn't want just cheese and bread. This is what this grilled cheese sandwich looks like. Tell me that is not freaking, we're just going to cut this open. You have to see it. And then I'm going to show you how to make it because it's beyond amazing. Look at this grilled cheese sandwich. Tell me that just doesn't, oh, I can't even, I need to eat it right now, but I can't. Okay, so this is how you make it. What you do is you take your bread. For this, I like white bread, but I really don't like white bread that much. At Wegmans, you can get this entire thing, it's up to here, this giant loaf of bread for 99 cents. Then you take your Earth Balance butter, or whatever, if you have regular butter, and I accidentally melted mine, completely melted, but, um, I only wanted it a little bit melted, but it works really well, because... If you actually look at this, you can literally just take spoonfuls, not really spoonfuls because that's America, but you can take a couple of spoonfuls and just smear it around and you got perfect layered. Then you throw it on your hot skillet there, and then you do the next piece just so you can have it ready. Now the next part is really your choice. Um, I like Swiss cheese the best, that's just my personal favorite, my boyfriend likes American the best. So whatever kind of cheese you want, and you throw the top and bottom there so it grills evenly. So I'm going to take Swiss, just this regular piece of Swiss cheese. I don't even know what it's called. It's like Wegmans original fat-free something. I don't know. And then you put it on one slice of this. And now you take tomatoes, and I have the beefsteak tomatoes. They're just like these pretty big chunky tomatoes. Really, really delicious. And I got them in a pack of six. But you just cut them up as however you want. We were dicing them to see how that works. And it seems to work okay, but I just cut these like this. So you can dice them or leave them. Take the tomato and you place it on there. And here comes the magic. We have this mild salsa just from Wegmans. I think it was $3 maybe. And it's just like this nice, thick, chunky salsa. And you take that and you throw it right in the middle of that tomato. And just spread it around however much you want. Personally, I like a little bit spicier, but I don't have anything spicier. So, throw on some salsa. And then just because we can, we're going to add a slice of American. This is just the white American. I know it looks like the Swiss. So throw that up there. And let it cook for a minute. Then here's the magic. If it's done, it's not done. So we'll be back in just a second when it's done. I know that I'm switching it up a little bit at the end, but I just remembered that I want something spicy, and I have these jalapeno peppers. It's just a regular jar. Probably got it for $2. So I'm just going to take out, like, you know, a couple, throw them on there, and just give it a little bit more of a kick than just the salsa. So just throw a few on there. Make it nice and spicy. And then, since this piece was cooking, you flip it over, right on top of there. And you squish it down a little bit so all the juices are everywhere. And then you flip it. And you just let it cook until it's ready, but that looks pretty good for my opinion. I don't really like one too dark. Let the cheese melt. We are not affiliated with Wegmans at all. We just go there all the time. Probably one of my favorite things. It's a little bit more expensive, but definitely good quality. Alright, so this looks done to me. So, you get your bowl, or your plate rather. Take it off the grill, flip it over. It's actually pretty good with some tomato soup, but if you don't have tomato soup, we have like 17 grilled cheeses here. But there you go, and it looks like this, but we couldn't help but take a bite. Look at that gooey... Drippy, delicious, amazing cheese. Take a bite of this one. The jalapenos definitely make it. And there you go, like, you don't even, where a regular grilled cheese, you need probably five of them. This regular grilled cheese, you just add some tomatoes, some jalapenos, bananas if you want. <laughs> Not really bananas, but, and there you go. 
So this is the end product of a half-eaten sandwich. It's pretty healthy, really delicious, and super quick to make if you just want a light snack or if you want to make two of them and have a meal. This is my dog, Riley. If you think that she's beautiful, please subscribe so you can see more of her all the time.